hi guys welcome back to the channel yes welcome to another video <laughs> how are you all doing i'm just now getting off work yeah i just got off work it's 4 53 i normally get up at 4 45 but yeah the clean scene good night bye see you tomorrow another seven to ten minutes will pass if I make it to the car so yeah I'm just not heading out the parking lot and today is Thursday by the way today is the 7th of March 2024 and this weekend our time is gonna change here in America because <clears throat> right now Nigerian time to here is seven hours different difference so but this sunday is our daylight time savings and that's what it is so we are springing forward our time is going to spring forward because i believe the 28th is the first day of spring so now the day is getting darker quicker so that, that's why the time has to change so now we're going to go back to six hours versus seven hours during the fall and summer i mean during the summer i mean during the fall yes during the fall so yeah so i am getting off right now today is thursday usually i do my grocery shopping on fridays but i'm not going to be able to go tomorrow because tomorrow in angel school they have a carnival and sorry i'm to the side because the way i have my tripod set up it's not the right position and i'm already driving i can fix it right now i just want to do this intro real quick <laughs> so uh, angel school has a carnival carnival tomorrow so i'm not gonna be able to do go to the store tomorrow so after work i have to go to the school for the carnival tomorrow so and then if you watched my last video where I did the bi-weekly grocery shopping I said I'm gonna be doing my grocery shopping bi-weekly now but I'm gonna be getting paid bi-weekly at my job now so I'm trying to get used to going to the store every other week it's easier too but there's some things that I still need to pick up every week like fruits and water those two things we're always gonna run out of because I cannot buy too much of them water is too heavy for me to carry more than one big case and one small case at a time and then fruits would go bad if I buy too much of it even though my kids they eat a lot of fruits so I can only buy so much before they start going bad like bananas and apples so I need to stop by Winkle real quick and I'm probably gonna do the haul right in the car so I don't have to go into the stress of arranging them in the house before filming because I promised that I was going to update you guys about how my biblically grocery shopping went because I've tried it before and it didn't work I still ended up I ended up running out of a lot of things but this time around I think I did my list very well and we still have a lot of the things that I bought the things that I need to buy actually I have a little I have my list here I always go to the store with a list I, don't, I can't go to the store without a list I cannot do that I have my list on this sticky note sorry about that guys um okay sorry about that guys the tripod fell i'm just gonna wrap this intro up right now because i'm driving i can't be doing this while driving so um the list is very small so i'm just heading to the store right now i'm gonna pick up those items and a few other things that i plan to stock up on because i'm gonna have a lot some room in my cart so and i will share them with you in the car before I drive away from the store. Yeah. All right, I will talk to you later. So guys, I made it to Winko. I'm at Winko right now. And this is my favorite parking spot. I don't know if I'm the only one that does this. Um, does anybody else do this? Places that I go very often, especially stores, my kids schools and church i have a favorite place that i want to park that spot i have to park there and i work too it's so funny because even at work 
if I don't get to work early, like if I get to work after everybody else, they still reserve my spot for me. Nobody will park there for some reason. And then everywhere I go, like Walmart, I have a special spot that I always want to park. I don't know. I don't care if there's more spaces where I'm coming from. I'm parking in that one place that I like to park. So yeah, I'm, 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 I'm at my favorite parking spot right now. And I'm gonna go into Winko and pick up a few things that I need to pick up. The only reason I'm gonna have a lot of stuff today, not a lot, just a few, is because I'm stocking up on paper towel and toilet paper, and that is not coming for my grocery money. So, and we run out, that's the only reason. And this is the best time to do it because I'm not gonna have a lot of stuff in my cart, and we have room for the paper products and water. So, I'm gonna go in the store right now and get what I need to get and I'll show them to you here before I get let's go home because I don't I'm tired <laughs> so yeah I will be back okay guys I made it out of the store I don't even think I spent 30 minutes in there so I'm going to show you what I got picked up real quick I have the water I have the water and paper towel and, paper and tissue paper in the trunk yeah but that is not part of my grocery haul today so I'll put this back down so let me flip this camera around and show you real quick so I don't have to do this when I get home so yeah I picked up this this was not on my list actually but uh, they asked for it last week so I picked up some waffles for breakfast and then this is what they actually asked me for we only had one box last week because I didn't think they were gonna eat it so I didn't buy enough so I picked up another one and this is just some made a maiden made a maiden here some made a maiden <laughs> some yakuja <laughs> some candy <laughs> so yeah and then they just now decided they want to take lunch to school. They've stopped taking lunch for some time. So I picked up six of these for them for lunch. And then I remembered I ran out of trash bags for the small trash cans. I picked up only one. That's going to last me forever. There is 30 in here. So back here I have fruits and more fruits. No, that's bread. Wait. Okay. So there's fruits here. Sorry if this video is all over the place. I have tangerines and lots and lots of bananas. And there should be another bag of fruits, yes. There's more tangerines and oranges and apples down here. So these two bags are fruits. And then my bread, because I did not pick any up last week. Due to the fact that they expire quickly, so I, I don't like stocking up on these ones. So I picked up the small one this time. And something that I bought that I don't have on my list is this right here. Look at this. Sometimes when I walk in the store and I see them display some already seasoned chicken like this, fresh, I'm always tempted to pick up one. We're gonna cook this tonight. So, and it's only four dollars and fifty-three cents. Israel's gonna be super excited when he sees this. He loves chicken so much. This is going to be cooked in my hair fryer. I think I'm going to make a short video showing you what it looks like after cooking tonight. So yes, this was not on my list, but hey, that's a quick dinner for us today. So yeah, it's time for me to go home. So guys, I am done. I'm tired. It's been a very long week for me at work, so... Yeah, this is going to be the shortest grocery haul ever. <laughs> because that's all I picked up. Except for the water and the tissue paper and the trunk. So, I think this bi-weekly grocery shopping really makes a lot of sense. It's also going to stop a lot of food wastage. Because they've been asking me to come back to the store. These kids have been asking me since Tuesday. I pushed it up until today, Thursday. If 
if if not because I have somewhere to go tomorrow, I will have gone. I will have come tomorrow. So no matter what, if they if we run out of stuff, if it's not fruits or water or milk, I'm not gonna come to the store a second time. I'm trying to teach them to eat what we have at home, and that way we can save some money on groceries. So sometimes we're gonna have to shop our freezer and pantry instead of wasting money i'm gonna do one of those i'm gonna do that one of those these days that i will not i will cut down my grocery bill for that month i will only shop out of my freezer because the freezer is just the freezer has some stuff that has been there for some time i need to go into my freezer and make sure that things are not just expiring so one of these days i'm going to not buy a lot of things and to make sure that we eat everything we have in the freezer and in the pantry that way so maybe i'll do that in the month of april yes i'll do that in april and then i will look in the freezer whatever is there that has been there for a month or two we will eat those when we run out of those then i will come to the store <laughs> the kids are not going to like it but we're going to do that so guys thank you so much for watching and my hair is still looking good it's been this is the second week it's been two weeks and it's still looking really good even though i spend a lot of money to do this but I enjoy wearing my hair by itself. I really enjoy it. It makes life very easy. In the morning, I just brush it up and put some hair oil in my hair. And this weekend, I'm going to oil my scalp and go another week or two or three. <laughs> so, yeah, it makes my hair feel very light. It's starting to get a little warm around here. I don't want to be sweating in my scalp. So, I like it. I think I'm going to do this more often. I just wish there's uh, an African hair breather that is cheaper around here. But I don't have any around me, so yeah. And I wish I know how to do this by myself, but I um, if I can do it, but I don't think it's gonna come out this nice. Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, don't forget to do so. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye bye.